So Greyhounds will be with us very shortly for the first race of the morning. 14 live races to come here at Toaster. Just to let you know, no non-runners today, so nice and straightforward. Starting off with an A5 at 10.16, and we race all the way through until the closing race, an A10 at 1.33. But no changes on the car. Greyhounds should be parading in the next couple of minutes. There's confirmation of the runners. We are just over five minutes away from the start. Runners for race number one. Track one is Amelie Genie running for Mr. S, Mrs. J, Grimer, trainer Jonathan Blenkow. 27.5 kilos. Two is Buccaneer Bandit for Mr. R, Mrs. D Evans, Jonathan Blenko, 34.7. Three is All About Will, Mr. M Gregory, Stephen Rayner, 32.4. Four is Bodell Rossi for Mrs. H Kemp, Miss I Yendel, Hazel Kemp, 25.7. Five, Hal Glorious, owner trainer Hazel Kemp, 32.3. Six, Energize Honey, for Mr. P. Casimir Morosinski, Mark Wallace trains 28.9. Runners parading for race one in three minutes. Let's give you the prices then for the first race. Trap uh, one, Emily Genie and two, Buccaneer Bandit, both on five to two. Then three to one is Bodo Rossi running out of trap four. It's seven to two, trap five, how glorious. Five to one is three, all about wheel. And five to one, trap six, Energize Honey. So first race on the way here at Toast. A couple of minutes to post time, A5 the grade. Five to two each of two. Jonathan Blenko's got the top two in the market, top two on the card as well. Emily Gini running out of trap one. He was a winner in A6 for making all the running. A couple of starts ago. A little bit inconsistent of the boxes, I guess. That's the worry. Buccaneer Band, it's been open racing. In fact, one at Nottingham in a 500 metre open at the back end of April. But heavily beaten on the comeback uh, run, or the first run back at Toast the last time, but found all kinds of trouble. It's better than that if you look at earlier form having won at A7 and A6 level in March. Just over one minute to post time. Nine to four then, trap two here, Buccaneer Band. It's gone clear favourite, just ahead of kennel mate Amelie Genie. There's uh, all about wheel. Five to one chance in trap three.
Now the runners are being asked to go into the boxes. They are loading up for the first race. So loading up for race number one. Hands checked over, has on the move for the first race. Grade is A5. Here is running. They're off. The race away out. Quickest, Emily Genie. One, three, all about wheels. Not trying to make an early bid as well as they go around the first couple of bends. Two squeezed up on the inside. Buccaneer Bandit. They've got strung out further back. Then as one continues to lead, Emily Genie by half a length from three. All about will the outside. There's room for Buccaneer Bandit. Two to try and exploit on the inside rail as they go towards the home bend. Two got force back. One still leads. Emily Genie's made all so far. Three all about will on the outside. Now a length down as they come down the straight. One in front. Three's trying to challenge through the centre. One is just about doing enough trying to hang on. Looks like one's held on from three two in behind back in third wait for confirmation from the judge called by the judges trap one Emily Genie for the uh, Grimers and Jonathan Blenko's beaten trap three third was trap two one three two twenty eight sixty eight on the clock for the uh, first race of the morning But well did trap one, was able to dominate. Got to the bend in front. Challenged all the way by all about Will in three. Two was sitting handily just in behind Buccaneer Bandit. And these three got clear. And C2 just trying to go for a run. There wasn't any room in the end, just got pushed back. And Emily Genie has done enough to make all the running in the first. I'll show you how close it was in a moment. Photograph finish. Coming up, they were fairly clear cut indeed in the end. One, three, and two.
Second race runners are with us. The grade is A10. Here's Chilton Robin running out of track one. Runs for Mrs. W. Richards. Emma Richards trains 25.1. Uh, Governor's Bob is in two, Mr. B. Dinner, Mr. D. Martin, Jim Reynolds, 30.6 in three, Mashman Hannah for the Mashman Syndicate and Kevin Hutton, 27.7. Four is Dunham Diesel, Dave and Jane Hofton at 26.3, five Dark Valley, Mr. J. Reynolds, Jim Reynolds trains, 28.4, six Droop is Tempo for Mrs. J. Dimmock and Heather Dimmock at 28.6. So they are parading four race two, the 10.31, Mini Owners Bonus Series Heat One, so three will qualify for the final, which will be next Saturday, giving uh, owners of these grounds a chance to go for a, a nice prize ultimately. Betting wise, nine to four, five, Dark Valley is favourite, lightly raced uh, puppies, had only three starts for Jim Reynolds so far. Five to two is Dunham Diesel, running out of trap four alongside Governor's Bob. Bear in mind that Governor's Bob in two is a middle seed, so Chilton Robin in theory has got a nice draw on the inside. That's a six to one outsider at the moment though. Couple of minutes away from the start off race number two. Track five, Dark Valley has just had those three runs as we say, been running on in each of her starts so far. She's still quite young. September 16, Mashman Hannah's only running for the third time. Kevin Hutton's runner in trap three at nine to two. Actually ran the same race last time and was split by Governor's Bob in finishing second, third and fourth. Dark Valley had gone off favoured on that occasion. And runs behind the traps, just under one minute to get involved in this second race, grade A10. Greyhounds are going into the boxes. They are going forward for race two. <laughs> Hair is running, so Hair's on the way for race number two. A10 the grade. They're off, away they go. Nice start through the middle. Dunham Diesel, four will lead up as they approach the first bend from Chilton Robin, one who's now been passed by six. Droop is tempo for second as they run the far side. Dunham Diesel, clear here for Jane Hofton. Had a really good night last night and this uh, leader is about five lengths ahead. Dark Valley's gone into second now, trap five. So they run towards the final bend. They're being pursued by the six. Droop is tempo, but some way adrift and not making any progress. Five's trying to close down the leader, but there's still two lengths between them. Dunham Diesel has tried to make all and will do enough. Held on from Dark Valley 5 in second, then close in behind for third between two Governors Bob and one Chilton Robin.
Trap two's got third. Governor's Bob, so four, five, two is the order of finish in race number two. Dunham Diesel on the front. Dominant display. Let's have a look at this again. Four away nicely on the run to the bend. One was given plenty of racing room as we suspected, but Chilton Robin not able to take advantage. Meanwhile, Dunham Diesel down the back, establishing a healthy looking lead. Dark Valley has made some progress through the race. Trap five, she's run another very promising race as she seems to do every time. And they've got away from the eventual third governor's bob. But Dunham Diesel, Jane Hofton amongst the winners in numbers last night and uh, on the mark again.
Hands are with us for race number three. We're sprinting this time. Grade is D2. Let's check the lineup. Here's Take Cash for Ash, running for Stephen Rayner. 32.9 in trap one. Run the risk in two. Mr. G. Cal misses H. Kemp. Hazel is the trainer as well. 32 kilos. Good day in three for Stephen Rayner. 28.5. Money Marciano in the black in four. Uh, runs for the Burtons and Kevin Hutton. 37.6. Oscar's Breeze for Mr. S. Taylor. Jim Reynolds in five. 25.9. And Oscar's Thunder. Not related. Uh, running for, again, Mr. S. Taylor, Jim Reynolds, 27.4. Betting-wise, 2-1 to one each of two in the middle here. Good day and Money Marciano are the joint market leaders. 2-1 to one from 7-4, to four, that pair. 4-1 to one is Oscar's Breeze in 5. 5-1 five to one run the risk is getting bigger. Opened at 4-1. to one. Oscar's Thunder in trap 6 at 5s and take Cash for Ash 6-1. to one. Four of these met in the same race last time behind Toe Star Billy. Money Marciano did best on that occasion. It's gone close on a few recent runs in this grade. So holds, in theory, some of the opposition. Speed has been quite apparent in the first couple of races. So I wonder whether uh, the ground that leads might have a, a good chance or a better chance than uh, might ordinarily be the case. Oscar's Thunder's quite consistent coming out and did pinch a, a D2 off the front back on the... 18th the most. It's an interesting run at a slightly bigger price, but two to one clear favourite now for Money Marciano. So they're over on the far side, just over one minute before this race gets underway. D2 it is. Congratulations to Dorota's Wildcat 2018 Star Sports Derby Champion Stakes. This trainer Kevin Hutton has Money Marciano in the field. So let's close down on the boxes. They'll be moving up very shortly for the third. So runners going in, going in for race number three. Tear waves the flag has sent on its journey. Race number three, D2 the grade, 260 metres. And they race away and a nice start through the centre from Money Marciano. Four is going to lead up the way then from Oscar's Thunder the outside trying to nip through on the inner but squeezed up there was Oscar's Breeze. Four still ahead Money Marciano. Oscar's Breeze trying to get on terms as is Oscar's Thunder. Down the lane they come Money Marciano in front. Uh, goes on to win four beats six Oscar's Thunder then five Oscar's Breeze back in third. Four confirmed the winner, Money Marciano for George and Mike Burton. Kevin Hutton, the trainer, beat six Oscars Thunder. Five Oscars Breeze was third. 15.32 on the clock for the winner. Who had finished in front of a few of these last time and confirms that form. See it again from the boxes. Came out just about on top, did uh, Money Marciano in four. It's challenged around the first bend by Oscars Thunder, the six who got by... It's kennel companion Oscar's Breeze, but Money Marciano, tough on the front end, and has made most of the running.
Now, Greyhounds are with us for the fourth race, the grade is A9. Let's take a check on the four lineup beginning with Time Will Tell, who runs out of track one for Mr. P. Hedges, Jane Hofton, 34.4. In two is Mildine Bucko for Wendy Richards, Emma Richards trains, 34.9. Sundance Sanchez in three, the Barker Racing Family and Hazel Kemp, 32.8. Cruden Bay in four, Jim Rowell's owner trainer, 30.2. Greencroft Eds in five for Stephen Rayner, owner trainer, 32.6. Faraway Hills in six, Mr. P, Kehoe and Jim Reynolds at 32.8. They are the runners parading. Here's the market with trap two favourite, Mildeen Bucko, uh, trading at seven to four indeed in the betting. It is then seven to two, Sundance, Sanchez and Cruden Bay. Four to one is Greencroft Ed. Five to one out from fours, Faraway Hills and six to one is Time Will Tell. Shots the runners about to uh, make their way onto the starting track with just over one and a half minutes to post. And Mildine Bucker still looking for that maiden victory. Mark, it seems to think it could well happen in this particular contest. Been running from a five and six, but closer to the rail today as a railer and a very slow start on the inside. In time will tell, so you'd be hopeful that Mildine Bucker can get a nice position early on. Crew and Bay's consistently quickly away. Running out of trap four for Jim Reynolds. That's a seven to two chance. Favourite's gone six to four now, so good money behind uh, Emma Richards' runner. Just under one minute now to the start. Now runners going in, so last chance to get involved for this fourth race here on Toaster TV, A9 the Great. There goes the hair for race number four. The grade is A9. Mildeen Bucko, a well-supported favourite in trap two. Race away. Nice start one. Time will tell. Surprises come out on top as they go to the bend. Far away hills. Now Cruden Bay between Greyhounds. Just squeezed up and trying to make headway. And force wide. Two's going to get close to Mildeen Bucko as well. Down the far side they travel. Far away hills has taken over. Trap six. Time will tell on the inside. Renewing a challenge. Force wide. Mildeen Bucko two around the outside. And now starting to get on turns. At the home bend they go. Time will tell still in front. Mildeen Bucko the favourite. Now within a length as they come down the straight. Time will tell is finding plenty though for Jane Hofton. Another one for Jane. Time will tell. Goes on to land it beat Mildeen Bucko closer in behind between Sundance Sanchez three and six far away hills for third Trap six has got third far away hill, so it's one time will tell for Mr. P. Hedges. Jane Hofton beat two, Mildeen Bucko. Six got third far away hills. We see the replay again. I don't think two minutes are expecting a trap one to bounce out, but that's exactly what he did. Time will tell for rushing up there. Just had to have the brakes a little bit with six cutting in side far away hills. That denied Cruden by a chance to get on terms. Mildeen Bucko 
well-supported favourite has to come the scenic route round the outside starting to make some headway on time will tell but time will tell has got six bend form wasn't going to relinquish this lead without a battle but it was the start that was unexpected not the finish and he has landed the odds a second winner for Jane Hofton this morning
race number five, Grand's parading. The grade is A9. Donna Malbeck runs in trap one for Dave and Jane Hofton, weighs in at 28.6. To his final, Flamingo for Wendy and Emma Richards at 25 kilos. Victoria Lane's in three for Mr M Lowther, Stephen Rayner, 24.6. Four Governors Colin, Mr. B, dinner, Mr. D, Martin, Jim Rolls, the trainer, 30.6. Five, No Kambugi for Mr. Uh, sorry, for Dr. A, Kithriotis, and Dr. J, McClellan. Mark Wallace, the trainer, 34.6. And six, Lemma Mike, running for Mr. A, Gray, trainer, Hazel Kemp. Uh, that dog at 34 kilos. Betting wise, two to one, the field, Victoria Lane in trap three is the market leader. Two to one chance in front of No Kambugi, who's likely race, just having a fifth start, Mark Wallace's charge. In the five at five to two. Easy to be with is Dunham Malbec, trap one. Train Hofton going for a third winner of the morning. But threes out to fours. Four to one, Governors Colin. Nine to two, Lemon Mike. And eight to one, final, Flamingo. Sun is shining here, beautiful bright morning at uh, Toasters. They prepare to go to the boxes, less than two minutes to the off of race number five. Where does the pace come from this time? Governor's Colin flew out last time, out still a maiden, but could hardly have laid down a bigger marker. Jim Reynolds runner in trap four. Can he come out as quickly again? He's probably the most consistent of these at the boxes in recent starts. So Jim Reynolds trap four at four to one. The market though prefers Victoria Lane who has been going close in recent runs. Sees out the trip well for Stephen Rayner. Two to one chance. There's a final Flamingo at a bigger price. No Kambugi is very lightly raced and definitely going the right way. And the five for Mark Wallace. So runners then poised to go forward. But they are now being given the signal to go into the trap. So loading underway for the fifth race. Tingers wave the flag. We have a hair on the way for race number five, grade A9. Favourite in trap three, Victoria Lane. And they race away and off they go. And breaking the line, first Governor's Colin Ford's going to lead up from the favourite, Victoria Lane. Three, then to the outside, No Kambugi, who now goes up into second after the leader as they run down the far side. So it's Governor's Colin, uh, the maiden in front by a couple of lengths. Leaves from No Kambugi, making ground, Victoria Lane, who's now charging after the leader within two lengths, trying to pick up Lemon Mike, six from off the speed of the home bend. Governor's Colin, Victoria Lane round the outside. No Kambugi is now making an impact on the outside. Down towards the line, Victoria Lane doing enough. Victoria Lane got home from No Kambugi. And then Governor's Colin was back in third. Three, five, and four. It's confirmed it is three. Victoria Lane for Mr. M. Lowther and Stephen Rainer's beaten trap five. No Kambugi. Third trap four. Governor's Colin. Three, five, four. 28, 83 on the clock. Let's have another look at this again. Head on shots of the uh, opening part of the contest. Governor Colin was able to get round the bend in front. We were wondering who might lead, and he was probably the most uh, likely to do so. No Kambugi's come after him down the far side. The winner's showing good pace down the back as No Kambugi just momentarily uh, loses his stride pattern there. He does start to pick up again into the fourth bend, but Victoria Lane making a winning bit at this stage. No Kambugi. 
has run another very promising race. It can't be long, surely, before he's winning a race round here. Three, five, four.
It is race number six. It's the 11.31 grade is A4. Here's Barrow Vic in trap one for Mr. C. Brown, Mr. G. Cow and Mrs. H. Kemp. Hazel Kemp, the trainer. Greyhounds weight 36.8. Two energised Jack going through in the blue for... Uh, Mr. and Mrs. J. Davis, Mark Wallace trains 32.3. There's Leiden Bacardi in three. Mr. B. Donnelly, Mr. G. Lee, Kevin Hutton, 33. Trap four, Merlin's Piper for owner trainer Hazel Kemp, 35.3. Mossrich Mirage is in five for Mr. B. Moss, Mr. R. Turnicliffe, Kevin Hutton at 27.5. And six is Kulavani Wendy for Mr. M. Lowther and trainer Stephen Rayner. Betting wise, pretty open. Barrow Vic, five to two market leader. A little bit of money for Leiden. Bacardi is only having a sixth run and a second after an absence. Three from seven to two and three to one also trapped for Merlin's Piper. Bigger odds the remainder, but very competitive. Race number six. The runners making their way out onto the track on their way to the boxes. Merlin's Piper in trap four there for Hazel Kemp. Been running uh, in slightly high grade, dropped to this grade last time, ran behind Morning Live Len, in fact, just uh, behind uh, Barrow Vic, who they were second and third in that race back on the 26th of May. Five to two it is, trap one, Barrow Vic for Hazel Kemp. So the uh, two kettle mates closely matched. Where does the pace come from here? You'd guess that Mossrich Mirage would be the most likely uh, leader. Kevin Hutton's runner in trap five, but speed enough with uh, Merlin's Piper. Won't make life uh, straight forward for Mossrich Mirage in the early part of the contest. So the runners are going forward. Good luck with your choices, or wherever you're watching our live action from from Toaster this morning. They are loading up. Hair is on the move, it's the 11.31, it is race six, grade A4. They're off, away they go, and out quickest here, Merlin's Piper 4, he's got that all-important lead as they go to the first bend, Lead and Bacardi trying to get off uh, into second place and does so, being pursued then by Barovit, one on the inside of five, Mossrich Mirage, as they go down the far side, and running wide is Merlin's Piper, there is racing room on the inner for Lead and Bacardi, who just met trouble there as Barovic tried to force the issue, still in front, Merlin's Piper, now Barovic trap one, he's in pursuit, two lengths away, time running out though, Merlin's Piper still on top for Hazel Kemp, and will go on and score, it's a 1-2 for the kennel, Barovic got second, and then Leader Bacardi trap three was third. It's got a trap four, it's got a Merlin's Piper for owner trainer Hazel Kemp beat trap one Barrow Vic, third trap three, Lead and Bacardi. Twenty-eight thirty-four for the winner. Who was going to lead up here? If five, uh, what's five going to lead for? It wasn't to be, was it? Merlin's Piper's come away quickly. Key part of the race here. Got around that bend with a clear advantage. Leader McCarty up into second place. Four keeping middle to wide down the far side, allowing him, or potentially the runners on the inside to get a run, but they just made contact. They didn't Bacardi just getting shuffled back. That left Barrow Vic in second. Not able to get on terms, but it is a 1-2 for Hazel Kemp, 4-1 and 3.
So we've got Greyhounds for race number seven. A7, the great arse tink is in trap one, running for Mr. K. Hefferon, Stephen Rayner trains, weights 28.4. In two is Tornaroy Trigger for Dave and Jane Hofton, 34.7. Holden Bullets in three, Mr. S. C and Jonathan Blenko, 33.8. Four unlikely Paco, owned and trained by Stephen Rayner, 33.7. Four, sorry, five always eager in the orange for the Cloudy Day Syndicate of Richard Yates. Weight there is 31.3 and 6. What's it all about for Miss P. Chapel? Heather Dimmock trains. Greyhound's weight is 32.6. So they are the runners out on parade. Two minutes away from the start. Trap one is favoured in the market. Ask Tink. He's only just come back onto the card and been away from January through to May, but two promising runs. Did actually get upgraded uh, after the first run, but it's back into A7 company today. So two to one market leader. In front of Holden Bullet, one win from five. That one came last time. Three to one, trap five, always eager. Another greyhound on the comeback trail. He's not raced since April. And then bigger price is the remainder. But two to one, trap one, ask Tink for Stephen Rayner. So heading towards the boxes, there's the unlikely Paco. Five wins from 19, Stephen Rayner doubly represented with the favourite in trap one, Ask Tink as well. Remains a two to one chance. Holden Bullet's starting to find some form, having just a sixth start today. He came good last time in the A8. Seems to be getting quicker on the clock as well. So the runners are going in. This is the seventh race on our toaster card. Loading up the boxes, A7 the grade. Flag has been waved by starter tier. The hair is on the move for race seven. And they're racing and away they go. Level enough start, but always eager. Five's just about going to lead up. Pressed by unlikely Paco. Now down the inside, Holden Bullet has come through. A little bit of crowding at the bend. Round the outside, what's it all about? He's now, indeed, the new leader, far side. Ask Tink, though, almost on terms as they run past halfway. Trap one, three lengths away. Holden Bullet, then as they go down towards the second last bend, then Tornaroy trigger. Ask Tink's gone on. She now leads by two or three. What's it all about? Got nothing more to give in second place. Down the straight. Ask Tink's done to stretch and really pull clear here. Ask Tink goes to the line. Holden Bullet's going to grab second. What's it all about held on for third one three six Ask Tinkers one for Mr. K. Hefferon and Stephen Rayner. Beat trap three, hold and bullet third was six. What's it all about? One three and six, twenty-eight eighty-three on the clock. And once she found herself in that position, there was unlikely to be any other outcome here. Ask Tink strong sort, six bend winning form prior to her absence from the track. Let's have another look back at this seventh contest. Nice start from always eager. Pacing up was four unlikely Packer. But three got to the bend in front of Holden Bullet. 
just couldn't nip round ahead though of what's it all about who leads keeping out of trouble this is the move though from Ars Tink who was threatening even before this stage and once she gets on terms she was always like to win very very well indeed Ars Tink uh, scoring nicely for trainer Stephen Rayner
runners playing for race number eight. The grade is A6. Let's have a look at the lineup. Romy Countess racing out of trap one runs for Mr. D. Mr. S. Bentley, trainer Jim Reynolds, 29.3. Bravo Echo in two for Mr. L. Coyle, trainer Kevin Hutton, 27.3. Running in three, Coraliva Queen for Mark Wallace Greyhounds Racing Club, Mark Wallace. 28.4. Four is Lily Longstep, Mr. G. Spurway, Kevin Hutton, the trainer, 29.1. Five is Ballpark for the Sunday Orchards and Jim Reynolds, 33.4. And running six, you little Jimbo, owner trainer Hazel Kemp, grounds weight, 34.8. You little Jimbo is two to one market leader in the betting ahead of Ballpark five. Two the money for Romy Countess, 11 to four from threes. And five to one, Coraliva Queen in trap three. Six to one, Bravo Echo. And the same price and easy to be with is Lily Longstep. But two to one the field it is for race eight. And runners coming out onto the track. Romy Countess having just a fifth start here. Jim Reynolds runner. Third last time behind uh, Shakatar. Ball Park was just in front of her on that occasion, finishing second, but not a lot between them. Although Romy Countess has had less opportunities, perhaps. Ball Park, the uh, kennel mate, five wins from 16 starts. You little Jimbo doesn't win very often, but his market leader, two to one, there is uh, Hazel Kemp's runner. Kennel had a winner earlier on with. Merlin's Piper, in fact they had the forecast in that race, little Jimbo, just the two wins from 30 starts so far, capable of some very fast breaks though, so that will be what supporters will be hoping for today. Hands are going in. This is race number eight, A6 this time. <laughs> and send on its journey for race number eight, A6. Racing off we go. What a good start. Bravo Echo stills an early length from you, little Jimbo's up into second, sixth, and in behind them, Lily Longstop four as they take the second bend. And the first two have got away here. Bravo Echo on the inside. You little Jimbo trying to lay down a challenge. Two lengths behind them, but picking up now is Ballpark and a little gap back then to Rummy Countess. Trap one at the home bend. You little Jimbo by three lengths here in front from Bravo Echo, followed by the running on Ballpark. They're into the straight. You little Jimbo in front. Is it going to be a rare victory for you, little Jimbo? It certainly is. You little Jimbo has beaten Ballpark. Behind those, Romy Countess was third, 6-5-1. Take a look at this again. Trap six, little Jimbo confirmed as the winner. Expected to be up with the pace, but wasn't the quickest away because Bravo Echo absolutely pinged the lids. Let down the far side, but little Jimbo keeping out of trouble here. Goes to the front as they run down the back straight. Ballpark was making some headway. Jim Reynolds charge coming down towards the final bend, but nice to see you little Jimbo 
with his head in front. Going on to land the spoils here, beating Ballpark and then trap one. Romy Countess back in third, 6 5, a one winner for owner trainer Hazel Kemp.
It's race number nine coming up, the 12-17, the grade is A3. Bodell Flyer in truck one for Mr J Kelly, Mrs H Kemp, Mr M Payne. Hazel Kemp trains 31.7. Baroness Bullet ones in two for the Bruiser Boys and Mark Wallace, 30.7. Clonkeen Rebels in three, Billy Boy Syndicate and Jim Reynolds, 34.8. Here's Magical Dreamer for Scott First Timers. Kevin Hutton, 28.7. Five is Morning Live Len, Morning Live Syndicate own. Kevin Hutton trains, 33.8. Six Tiffield Lad for Mr W and Mrs J McCall. Mark Wallace, the trainer. Greyhound's weight, 35.9. Baroness Bullitt, who's got winning open race form around Romford for Mark Wallace and the Bruiser Boys, is 6-4 to four and solid in the betting. Morning Live Len at three, is having open five to two. Same price Tiffield Lad that's come in half a point for... Mark Wallace again, seven to two into three to one. Then five to one is Clonkeen Rebel. Bodil Flyer at sixes being pushed out. We've had winners in trap one, three of them this morning, and six to one trap four. Magical Dream, a good A3 on the way in just three minutes' time. So Baroness Bullet with some good form on the road, of course, for uh, Mark Wallace. That open race win at Romford, form behind Shotgun Bullet as well, uh, twice over in recent weeks. Looking to try and uh, switch that very good form here to Toaster this morning for Mark Wallace. The puppy in trap two, solid though at six to four. Morning Live Len on back-to-back -back A5s and A4s before getting beaten in a race that also featured Magical Dreamer and Tiffield Lad. Last week, they're drawing the same boxes again, all capable of uh, trapping, so plenty of pace on the outside. Clonky and Rebels drawn a bit wider than has been the case in registering his two wins in A5 and A4. Can he clear the inside runners and get himself a pitch early on? Lots of pace in the race, really uh, very interesting A3, and they'll be going to the traps in the next uh, couple of minutes. Magical Dreamer just going through there for trainer Kevin Hutton. Another one who's more than capable when getting on the front net. Still dealing with a double penalty, having got up from A5 to A3 in the middle of last month. So the runners are going forward. They're loading up for race nine, A3. Send on its journey, race number nine, A3 this time around here at Toaster.
and racing and off they go. Magical Dreamer just leads. Morning Live Len trying to get on terms. Tiffle Lad towards the outside. They take the second bend now. Morning Line Len has got across and goes on. Opens up by a couple. Tiffle Lad next. They look out back to Magical Dreamer and Bodell fly the favourite. Only fifth Baroness Bullet as they go towards the home turn. Morning Live Len still leads the way in. Three lengths in front of Tiffle Lad in second position. Long way back to Baroness Bullet, the favourite into the lane. Morning Live Len on top and he's clear as they run towards the judge. Baroness Bullet picking up late, but it's going to be Morning Live Len who wins well. Baroness Bullet and then Tiffield Ladd in third. Twenty-eight forty on the clock for Morning Live Len, who has won race number nine this morning. A three, the grade. Five Morning Live Lem for the Morning Live Syndicate and Kevin Hutton. Let's have a look at it again. Got a nice start over to clear round Magical Dream who showed pace into the corner. Trouble at the back for Clonkeen Rebel. Watching the favourite Baroness Bullet who's nearer last than first as they went midway down the far side. But Morning Live Leonard pretty much established himself on the run towards the third. Ben Tiffield lad in second to see the favourite. Will make plenty of late headway, stealthy headway from Baroness Bullet. And eventually getting loose, but Morning Live Len, it is job done. Three wins in his last four, he is going well.
Paloma Faith is coming to Toaster. Only love can hurt like this. See Paloma live at Toaster Racecourse on Saturday the 28th of July. I just came in Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.co.uk. Over to race number 10 now, grade is S3, so with the six-man runners, here's brilliant design in trap one for Mr W Meekins, Graham Holford trains, 28.9, zero forks in two, owner trainer Kevin Hutton, 25.6, three dress code for Mr M Lowther, Stephen Rayner, 31.7, running for Cousin Dupre, 
Mr B Trotter, Mr G Trotter, Mrs L Trotter, Mr M Wallace, Mark Wallace trains 32.9, Bodell Chino in five for Mr Peacock, Mr J Kelly, Mrs H Kemp and Hazel Kemp at 29.8 and six is Chris Perfection for Mrs H Kemp and Hazel Kemp at 31.6. S3 it is coming up in just under four minutes time. The betting is open, 11 to four, the field dress code running in three favourite just ahead of trap two, zero forks at three to one and seven to two and bigger the rest. And making the way to the far side for the 1233 race number 10. Very competitive. Dress code who made uh, all come good in S4 company two starts ago before uh, getting the trouble up against this grade last time. Is the market leader, but as you can see from the betting, all six grounds within about a point of each other. It's the most competitive race of the day so far. Over on the far side, they'll be loading in the next minute or so, so still time to get involved. 11 to 4 dress code remaining favourite, just in front of Zero Forks. Running out of trap two at three to one. There's uh, Chris Perfection six for trainer Hazel Kemp. He's had a couple of winners on the card this morning. So the runners are going in. They are going into the traps for the 12.33 race number 10, S3. <laughs> Start away is the flag. Six bends ahead of them this time.
and they race away, off they go, and from the box is Cousin Dupree, Trap 4 is the first to emerge, leads up by about a length to go to the bend from Bolidale Chino, then to the outside, Chris Perfection 6, up on the inside, Raul Dress Coach trying to make a little bit of early headway, a break back to zero, Forks in two, and then Brilliant Design, past us they go, Cousin Dupree, cutting back to the inside, leads by three lengths here, on the far side the last time, from five, Bolidale Chino, another length away is Chris Perfection 6, two lengths back to Dress Code as they continue down the far side, Cousin Dupree has made all the running so far, still with a clear advantage over Bolo Del Chino in second place. Now starting to stay on Chris Perfection and also picking up Zero Forks as well too as they come off the last bend. Cousin Dupre under pressure now from Chris Perfection. Far side Zero Forks, Chris Perfection in the middle. Possibly just from Zero Forks. It will go to the judge back in third for Cousin Dupre. Six has been called the winner, Chris Perfection. Here's the replay again. Six, Chris Perfection for Hazel Kemp, beating two, zero, Forks. And back in third, four, Cousin Dupre, who led them a dance early on, as we can see on the replay. Was in front for the most part. Zero, Forks a fair old way back, as is her want in trap two, as they went out onto the final circuit. Eventual winner, just trying to move up there in the striped jacket. Chris Perfection. As uh, Bodo Chino eventually gives way here, the... Kennel mate of the winner. Still Cousin Dupre with a lead, but here come the cavalry now making headway off the final bend. Starts to run on empty Cousin Dupre, been in front a long time. And wide apart these two challengers, but it is this near side, Chris Perfection, who's done enough. We'll show you the photo print. There it is, six beats two, four, got third. 42-68 on the clock. I just advise you the next race, race number 11, will be subject to a two-minute delay. So race 11 due off two minutes later than advertised at 12.49.
Downs, come and join us for race number 11. Here is uh, Dunham Sorrento racing out of trap one for Dave and Jane Hofton. 27 kilos the weight. In trap two is Spyro's Girl running for Mr. S and Mrs. J. Grimer. Jonathan Blenko trains 27.43 is Searock Amumum for Mr. D. Smith and trainer Jane Hofton. 34 kilos. In four, Rory Breaker, Mr. P. Martin Jr., Stephen Rayner, the trainer, 32.9. Five is He Haws Apache for Billy B. Syndicate and Jim Reynolds in at 30.8. And six is Ribble Ghost for Lord Hesketh, trainer Mark Wallace, 31.4. Just to remind you, this race going two minutes later than advertised at 12.49. So still a few minutes to get involved. Six to four, Ribble Ghost on the outside for trainer Mark Wallace. We'll be looking to try and lead them early doors. Attempted to do that when running second behind I am to El Sevi last weekend but fairly consistent coming out of the box he should clear trap five you would imagine four might not be quite so straightforward to get by Rory Breaker but percentage could be for six maybe the lead for Mark Wallace six to four chance in the betting three to one is the four Rory Breaker Stephen Rain has had a good morning with a couple of winners on the card and then nine to two and bigger the rest So runners about to go behind the boxes. Rebel Ghost at six to four in the ownership of Toaster Supremo Lord Hesketh. There's um, Rory Breaker, who's one of three wide runners indeed in the field. Stephen Rayner's Greyhound, three to one in trap four. There's the favourite Rebel Ghost. So the bank placed in, the runners going in for the 11th race. <laughs> As on its journey, race number 11. A6 over the 480 metres. Racing off they go. Best start, Spyro's Girl with four. Rory Breaker, six is keeping out of trouble. River Ghost now trying to make a move on the outside as they go around the first couple of bends. And it's Rory Breaker now. But about a length from River Ghost, the favourite. Little gap back then to Dunham Sorrento. Trap one who races in third as they go midway down the far side. Still Rory Breaker. Still by a couple. River Ghost trying to close that margin. They're a long way ahead then of Dunham Sorrento. Followed by two Spyro's Girl into the straight. They come. Rory Breaker is still on top and is going to go on and win this well. Rory Breaker beats the favourite River Ghost. And then Dunham Sorrento, trap one was next Rory Breaker trap 4-4 four, four. owner Mr P Martin Jr and Stephen Rayner beating trap 6 Ribble Ghost 28-76 trap 1 Dunham Sorrento was third Three winners on the morning for Stephen Rayner. Pace from Rory Breaker through the centre. Six Ribble Ghost moved up, kept out of trouble. Two had broken well, Spyro's goal, but 
not able to avoid problems at the first corner. And these two go on down the far side. They're well clear of Dunham Sorrento. There's going to be a little change in the order, though, because Rory Breaker is toughing it out on the front end. No way back for Rival Ghost. 4 6 and 1.
Three races to come on this Saturday morning session. Here's uh, race 12 runners. Harry's Risk in one for Mr. G. Cow and Hazel Kemp, 33.42. Is Go Teddy Go running for Mrs. P. Dangerfield, Mrs. T. White. Jim Reynolds trains 33.6. Three Milltown Wonder for Mr. C. Joyce and Chris Joyce, 28.3. Trap four Dunham King, Dave and Jane Hofton. Well, he's in 32.2. Five make offer for Mr. J. Barney and Hazel Kemp in at 26. And trap six Dunham Kenny. Dave and Jane Hofton again weight 34 kilos. Betting wise, nine to four each of two. Go Teddy going two. And Mealtown Wanderers shortened in from five to two to nine to four. Seven to two, trap one, Harry's Risk. And then the other three Greyhounds all at five to one. And we're just over two and a half minutes to the off. way to play them for the 104 contest both the top two in the market are shortening up so go Teddy go back as clear favorite again in trap two went to Romford for an open race last time but prior to that had one in this grade albeit denied the trap one box today Jim Reynolds is charge Milltown wonder stats immediately greet you with a uh, trepidation just one win from 23 starts plenty of second places very consistent greyhound will today uh, be her day we saw you little Jimbo win earlier, who's not a prolific winner, but uh, every grand has its day. Maybe it's Milltown Wonders Day today. Nine to four, trap three, and trap one, Harry's Risk on the inside. He's been climbing the grades at this uh, bottom end of the ladder. A10, A9 wins recently and tries to go for the A8 victory today. So the runners are going forward, loading up underway now, race number 12. Here is on the move. This is the 104 race number 12. They're on their way. They're racing slowly away. Was Dunham Kenny best away though? Milltown Wonder is going to lead up. Pressed there by Dunham King Ford to the outside, trying to squeeze around on the inner is two. Go Teddy Go now gets a pitch just behind the pace. Make off a of five is out deep, and this four group of four have gone away as they run down the far side. Then Dunham King racing wide, and Milltown Wonder still making ground. Go Teddy Go down on the inside, a length behind them. Make off at the home bend. Milltown Wonder. She's in front here by two lengths. She's going to get her day in the sun. Milltown Wonder going clear. Will beat Dunham King into second. Close for third involved. Five make offer and two go Teddy go. Trap three, the winner, Milltown Wonder, four owner trainer Chris Joyce, beat trap four, Dunham King. Third was trap five, make offer, twenty eight sixty four on the clock. Well done to Milltown Wonder, who's taken a chance this morning to uh, add to a tally. We can see it again 
Here's the replay coming up. Got a nice break as well, Milltown Wonder. Dunham King on the outside. Go Teddy Go was trying to nip up the inner, but three was in the right place just to lead them on the far side. Five make off a prominent as well. This group of four had the race between themselves from a long way out, but Milltown Wonder on the front end, just under stretch, starts to get clear, and she goes on to land uh, the victory in race number 12.
So runners for race 13, sprinters this time. Heidi is Lee in trap one for owner trainer Bob Liddington at 23.3 kilos. Together Forever runs in trap two for Mr M Lowther, Stephen Rayner, 32.6. Toe star Tommy for the Toe star syndicate is in three. Emma Richards trains 31.3. Governor's Dream in four. Mr B Dinner, Mr D Martin, Jim Reynolds, 25.9. Five is Shayra Spy for for Mr I, Mrs R Blackwood and Richard Yates, 30.6. And six is Pure Paradise. Owner trainer Jim Reynolds, 28.2. Betting is in, and it's 6 to 4. Shayra Spy for favourite for Richard Yates. 5 to 2, Pure Paradise in 6. 7 to 2, Governor's Dream. And 4 to 1, Bar. So they're heading towards the far side, just about a minute and a half to post time. Six to four is Shayra's Spy Four, who did win a D4 three starts ago, and there wasn't been very far behind Dunham Nova last time, had Trap Six Pure Paradise in arrears on that occasion. Second favourite in the market is indeed the Six Pure Paradise for Jim Reynolds. He's got the one, two then. I'm oh, sorry, he's got the uh, second and third favourites in the market with Trap for Four Governor's Dream, his other runner. She was an A5 winner, or a D5 winner, I should say, back on the 25th of May. Heading to the far side, race number 13 in uh, around a minute's time. So the runners are going forward, loading up on the way now, race 13. And so it's Johnny then for the sprint, D4 the grade. They're off and racing, bouncing out Governor's Dreams, already stolen a couple of lengths, so they go towards the first bend, off on the inside, Shayra's Five for the favourite, now trying to cut the margin, then Six Pure Paradise, they're at the home bend, Shayra's Five for now coming through, is going to lead them into the stretch, the far side, Pure Paradise trying to renew a challenge, it will be five just ahead, five Shayra's Five for close for the placings involving Pure Paradise Six and four Governor's Dream. It's gone to five. Shayra's spy fall for Mr. I, Mrs. R. Blackwood and trainer Richard Yates. Six is second. Pure Paradise. Third trap for Governor's Dream. Five, six and four. 15.78. The winning time. Let's watch it again. Traffic start from trap four here. Governor's Dream. But five was able to nip up on the inside for uh, moving wide. Allowed Shayra's spy fall a run at the leader. Six picking up late down the inside of them. Both Pure Paradise. And it's five just ahead, five, six, and four.
last race of the morning coming up race number 14 mini owners bonus series heat two unlikely sticks in truck one for owner trainer Stephen Rayner 28.6 two Manor Moss running for David Jane Hofton 26.2 three is Black Kanaska Mr Peacock Jim Reynolds 29.2 four, four is Colonel Paddy for owner Wendy Richards Emma Richards 32.8 five I Mary running for Mr M Richards Emma Richards at 27.3 six Dunham Lady Dave and Jane Hofton 26.3 strong favorite in the one is unlikely stick six to four Stephen Rayner three winners on the car can he make it four this morning seven to two is six Dunham Lady four to one about four Colonel Paddy and then five to one I'm Mary and five and six to one both Manor Moss and Black Kanaska Five to four unlikely sticks. Down on the inside, drawn inside uh, senior runners capable of um, some fair starts, although a little inconsistent perhaps, but those backing uh, this morning will be hoping she can uh, trap on terms at least. Unlikely sticks now being uh, shortened into 11 to 10, so plenty of money in for trap one here on likely sticks. 11 to 10, seven to two Dunham Lady. We have been running an A9s, remember these are well, this is a heat of a owner's bonus series. We had the first heat much earlier this morning. Dunham Diesel, Dark Valley, Governor's Bob all qualified. Runners going in, loading up last race, race 14. Here goes the hair then for the last time this morning, and Nightly Sticks a warm favourite for this second heat of the Mini Owners Bonus Series. And they head away racing on the outside. Dunham Lady got well, but unlikely sticks has uh, moved up with through the middle. I'm Mary as they take the bend. I'm Mary getting round by about a length from the favourite unlikely sticks. And then out wide joining them, Colonel Paddy. And just in behind is two Manor Moss as they go midway down the far side. Unlikely sticks now goes to the front, goes on by about a length from Manor Moss up on the inner, who's going to be a threat as they go towards the home turn. Then five I'm Mary, two taking one out very wide, taking it off the track. I'm Mary now takes advantage. Here's Black Kanaska three and flashing home on the far side is Dunham Lady. The go to the line Dunham ladies come through very late to win it six close in behind between three black canasca and five I'm Mary it's gone to six gone to Dunham lady for mr. D Hofton Jane Hofton second trap three black canasca third trap five I'm Mary 29.90 uh, was the winning time We can have a look at the replay once again. Dunham Lady on the outside. As they went to the bend, I'm Mary just got round in front of Unlikely Sticks, the heavily back favourite who's in a good position down the far side. Watch Manor Moss though, just in behind Trap 2, showing good back straight pace, but is going to come along and take away the chance of the favourite, forcing it out very, very wide. Meantime, race up for grabs. I'm Mary in front, but Hurtling late challenge from a Dunham Lady coming through to win. Dunham Lady eventually beating Black Kanaska 6 3 5 the result.
Well, a quick reminder, racing back here this evening. All the live action resumes uh, on Toaster TV later on uh, this evening with our usual Saturday evening card. Don't forget to go to the Toaster Racecourse app, download that, and uh, get involved with the low six competition. And if you are at the track this evening, you'll also be able to uh, be a part of the Imperial Car Supermarket big cash giveaway. So plenty to come this evening. First race due off just after half past seven tonight. In the meantime, we hope you've had a good morning with us here on Toaster TV.